Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing a laptop unboxing. I had a 16 inch MacBook Pro before this, but it fell off my bed and broke. So I had to buy a new laptop really quick for college. And I ended up going with the new, well, relatively new M2 MacBook Air. So I'm gonna be unboxing this. Might do a quick review, give a little bit of my thoughts, but yeah, let's get into it. This part is always really satisfying. Ah, oh, yeah. A little crumple of the plastic coming off the box. Wow. Oh, um, I got the uh, midnight blue color, which I really liked. They did say it was a bit of a fingerprint mag magnet, but I don't think that'll bother me very much. Okay, let's go ahead and lift this lid up. There it is. Besides the laptop, there's this little braided MagSafe cable that comes in the box, match the color of the laptop too. And then of course, the little pamphlet with Apple stickers inside, if I could find them. Oh, maybe no Apple stickers this time. Oh wait, I was wrong. Ooh, they're midnight blue Apple stickers too. That is really cool. And we also have this kind of small uh, 30 watt charging adapter. It has two USB-C ports at the end. So I guess you could charge your phone and your laptop if you have both the wires for it. But yeah, that's all the stuff inside the box. Let's take a look at the laptop. Here's the laptop itself. Look at the finish, like it, has a very cold aluminum finish, but it's also really glossy and matte at the same time. Like the Apple logo is glossy, but the actual finish of the MacBook is really matte. I'm gonna, oh, it's already turning on. I'm gonna peel away the little screen protector there. That is really cool. I've had a MacBook before, but I haven't had a MacBook with the new M2 chip and the like notch design they just finished rolling out m2 chips on all of the new apple products or the new apple mac products so i'm really excited to see what this can do because my old laptop had an intel chip which was fast but i'm hearing that this is a lot faster all right now the fun part i'm gonna start transferring information from my desktop onto my new laptop there it is picked up my mac mini on my laptop okay i finished transferring my files sweet should be all good to go and everything should be on my laptop or my desktop okay just gotta set up touch id now uh this is like it'll allow you to like authenticate with your finger and like sign into your laptop there we go sweet for those of you wondering i got the mid-tier spec it's the 8 gigabyte, 512 gig, 8 core CPU, but 10 core GPU. I just think that 256 gigabytes is way too little storage if you're making a laptop purchase. Also, I tried running a Final Cut Pro project, the same video I'm recording right now, actually, and I put it on the timeline, and the whole thing exported in two minutes and 30 seconds. And this is like a 10 minute file which is really, really, really fast considering it was exported in 4K, which with 8.264 encoding. So I can already tell this laptop is gonna be super fast. Yeah, really excited. Uh, there's no more touch bar either. The whole thing got replaced with function keys. And unlike the new like M2 MacBook Pros, the keyboard is is flush with the background of the like casing of the laptop. There's no like back black background or anything. But yeah, this is the side profile. Super, super thin, less than like half an inch thick. Here's it closed. 13.6 inches super portable gonna have a lot of fun making videos with these with this device over here but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll uh see you in the next video